As many of you know, I have a love-hate relationship with Windows 10. The many privacy concerns and aggressive tactics to upgrade have almost pushed me to the point of uninstalling the operating system and replacing with one of the many Linux distros. Putting aside the BS coming from Microsoft over the last couple years, Windows 10 is still a great operating system that is full of all sorts of useful features. So today I'll show you 10 tips, tricks, and hidden features on Windows 10. Coming up next on Tech Gumbo. The tips here at the beginning will be some of the easier ones with more advanced tips for power users near the end of this video. Some of these were recently rolled out with the recent spring edition of the Windows 10 Creators Update. Number one, dark theme. If you want to give your PC a more stylish look, including a dark theme, you have several options. So first let's head over to start, select settings, then personalization. In the left pane, select colors. Here you have several options. You can allow Windows to automatically pick an accent color from your background, or you could select one of your own. You could turn on or off the transparency effects. And finally, for the dark theme, the default is light. So to switch it to a dark theme, just select dark. I personally like the dark theme better than light. I also find it's easier on the eyes. Number two, game mode. If you're a PC gamer running a lower spec system, game mode just may help you out. It allows more of your system resources to be allocated to your game, which prevents background processes from disrupting your experience. You could use the game bar while in game to turn this feature on, but there is an easier way. Just go back to settings like we did in the previous tip. So start menu, settings, select gaming. In the left pane, select game mode and then just select it to turn it on. This also works with non-Windows Store games too. Number three, Storage Sense. Over time, your PC can fill up with needless junk without you knowing it. With the latest Creators Update, they added Storage Sense, which will clear out unneeded temporary files and files in your recycle bin more than 30 days old. While in Settings, select System, in the left pane, select storage, then select it to enable the feature. Select change how we free up space. I'd leave these options turned on. Hopefully they add more options to storage sense in the future. Number four, nightlight. This is one of my favorite new features. Nightlight is a lot like Flux, which is a program that removes blue light, which they claim can help you sleep better. To activate Nightlight, in Settings, select System, then under Color, select it to turn it on or off. If you're running a multiple monitor setup, this will turn Nightlight on or off on all monitors. If you select Nightlight Settings, there are several options to customize the experience. You can adjust the color temperature. You can set Nightlight to only operate during sunset to sunrise hours, or you can set your own hours. Number five, shop with Edge. Now everybody hold onto your seats. I'm about to say something positive about Microsoft Edge. They have a new feature that is helpful when you shop online to find you a better deal. So far it seems to work at retailers such as Best Buy, Amazon, and Target, and many others. What you do is you select an item. When you land on the product page, a notification should appear. So select it, and it shows you the prices at other retailers. And for this particular item, it looks like a few retailers have a lower price. This feature reminds me of the invisible hand extension for Chrome. Number six, print to PDF. Now you can finally save a document as a PDF without using third-party software with Microsoft's print to PDF. No matter what you print, this works with everything I've tried, I'll do a quick demonstration here for you. So I'm in Chrome, I'll select Print, and select Change, then select Microsoft Print PDF, then select Print, and you'll be able to choose where you want it saved. And this is what the saved document looks like. Number seven, Virtual Desktops. This is a feature that's been available on Macs for quite a while, 
Virtual desktops allow you to have various virtualized versions of your PC's desktops. To create a new virtual desktop, select Task View, then select the plus sign to add a new desktop. To go back to your previous desktop, select Task View again, and I'll select Desktop 1. There's now a new way to move open programs to other desktop environments. So select Task View, then I'll just select this open program, and I'll drag it down to Desktop 2. You can also drag it to plus new desktop to create a new desktop environment. Number eight, emojis. If you're on a smartphone, using emojis is simple enough. One question I get that I didn't realize was not obvious is how do you use emojis on Windows 10 on websites that don't have an option to use emojis? Well, on Windows 10, you have to enable the keyboard. So right click on the taskbar and make sure Show Touchboard Keyboard button is enabled. You should now see a keyboard. Then when you need an emoji, just select the keyboard, then select the emoji icon, and then you'll have a variety of emoji to choose from. Number nine, notifications. Sometimes the notifications from your programs might get a little irritating. Thankfully, there's a way to shut them up. Head back to settings, Select System. In the left pane, Notifications and Actions. You have the option to completely turn off notifications from apps and other senders. If you scroll down, you have the option to turn off notifications individually. Skype has been bothersome lately, so I'm going to silence Skype. Number 10, God Mode. If you want the ultimate settings control panel, you'll like God Mode. Originally introduced in Windows Vista, God Mode is easy to set up. Just create a new folder, and then name that folder with the text I'll provide in the description of this video. You can change the text of the words God Mode to anything you want. So I'll rename mine Monkey Mode. Then when you're done, hit enter. Now you should see this new icon on your screen. Just double click it. And now you'll have a ton of settings that you can play with. Now for the first of two bonus tips. If you use the command prompt window as much as me, you'll appreciate these small changes. Let's open up the command prompt window. So in the Cortana bar, type in CMD. Right click, run as administrator. You can now use the copy and paste shortcuts with command prompt. You know what those are. Control C to copy and Control V to paste. I know it's about time. Next, right click on the title bar, select properties, select the color tab, and you probably know about all these different color options. But now you have the option to change the opacity of the command prompt window by just using the slider, which gives it a really cool look. That concludes this video. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. Let me know in the comments if you have any Windows 10 tips or tricks you feel would benefit others. And if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button and ring the bell. For more Windows tips and other tech-related stuff, you're in the right place here at Tech Gumbo.